What's going on, everybody? And welcome again to another episode of The Push, presented by Bodyslam.net. I am here with not only the co-host and owner slash FA of Bodyslam.net, but also the two guys that actually do the legwork and actually maintain <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bodyslam.net. Yeah, if it wasn't for these guys, that would be a thing right now. <laughs> the faces Faz, that run the places. Yes. <laughs> As in Gender. Gender. I like Fast that background. <laughs> I, I'm so used to the, putting the T on there for some reason. I feel like it's my accent. I'm sorry, Chris. But, guys, welcome so much. Welcome so Thanks much. I'm up. more nervous with you guys than I am yeah. with uh, FTR. <laughs> what the so hell much. is that? Welcome so much. I'm going to do that. No one, that's, that's no one's ever said that before. I don't, nobody in the history of life has ever said that before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start using that. I'm I'm just like, welcome very much. Whatever. Screw you guys. I'm the shit. <laughs> All right. I'm putting this around my waist. See, this I'm still already, messing up. I'm putting it around my waist and around mess. my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking too much. Welcome, guys. Thank you so much Thank for joining us. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad we could finally do it. Yeah, well, my bad. I'm being will... taken too long to get in here. That's on me. Hopefully, this will be the first of many. Um, I like to think that we're, this is the official prediction show for NXT TakeOver 31, and we're, we're very welcome to have you guys on the, to give your predictions and vie for this baby well i'm throwing a swerve i'm throwing a swerve and saying we double down and do impact as well since you know calm down there calm down there challenger number one because i need to properly hype the fact that this is eighteen thousand dollars worth of solid gold around some genuine leather and i'm gonna put it around my shoulder right now so to all of our fans that fans for all of our listeners that are listening on podcast platforms, you should head over to YouTube so you can actually see me rub this in <laughs> all their faces as I hold on to it. And uh, it is the the podcast predictions title that we put on the line for every every uh, as as far as we know every WWE and AEW. Paper for and now impact. And now impact, yeah. Impact. <laughs> well, we'll get to that. So <laughs> we determined last episode that champion makes the rules, correct, Cass? All right, fine. If you're gonna pull that, you're gonna pull that card on us and just big no, time no, impact. No, 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 no. That said. Good luck getting impact people on the show if you're gonna be that guy. <laughs> that that said, I'm a I'm a I'm a people's champion, I'm a fighting champion, and I think we should leave it up to the group that are here doing their predictions for a uh, for uh, a group vote as to whether or not we should include Impact. And believe it or not, Hefe, I will say yes. We should put the Impact card on. I think it'll be more fun because I think yeah. Yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. one of us is the only one that watches Impact in here. Maybe I think <laughs> I watch so, Impact. I watch it. That's what I'm what saying. Then you guys got a bigger advantage than me. I'm going straight by name. I'm like, oh, that guy. I don't know. He this one will win. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, uh, I like, what the, the, like, what the fuck's a Susie? We're going Dina Perrazzo on that one. Like, that kind of shit. It's going to be like, uh... I, you know, there's I only, a, go ahead, there's go. only five matches at TakeOver as well, so it's going to be pretty pretty That's easy true. for us to all draw. So and I think we should. Carl Anderson's on this fucking card? What the hell is going on? Like, what year is this? Oh, no, Carl Anderson. <laughs> like, I was thinking of Mr. Anderson, Ken Anderson. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no, Mr. No, Anderson's no. back? <laughs> all right. But he's, it was a singles match. That's what threw me off, I think, so... Because Carl Anderson's Carl Anderson. in the free for all singles, match. singles match. No, no, it's a tag. It's a tag. Well, we're looking at what's the, what's the card? What's the card? It just says Carl. I just said the, the impact just sent me the lineup, and it says free for all match: Ace oh, Austin yeah, versus yeah. Carl Anderson versus Alex Shelley versus Josh Alexander. So that's yeah. Literally this morning, it was um, it was Carl Anderson, Doc Gallows, um, yeah. the motor ma- uh, machine guns, um, and they... is it the Rascals? Yeah, I think I'm going they, with the Rascals. I, it looks like they swapped it out because I'm looking at the card they sent me this morning with the screener. Plans changed. Plans <laughs> yeah. changed. Oh, I don't, I'm yeah. not wearing that shirt. Fuck, I'm wearing the other one. I'm wearing the <laughs> Big If True one. I'm wearing a Big If True shirt. I couldn't find my plans changed. I think it's in the wash. But Throw it in the wash. Throw it in the wash. All right. All right, anyway. So what are we doing? We're doing, are we doing let's, this? You got to do this. Let's too, get right? into it. Let's look. Let's get into it. We. I think we're all in agreement that we'll we'll put the impact card yep. in as well. Yeah. I haven't watched yep. Impact in the last two weeks. I actually, I, I didn't know that this was going to be the case, so I was going to binge watch it before the pay per view. But so be it. You know, it is what it is. I, I don't know why Dion is putting her title on the line against Susie and not my girl Smiley Kylie. I assume she was <laughs> the uh, number one contender. What had happened? Next pay per view. Oh, 
did she get exposed to COVID at Warrior Wrestling two weeks ago? Is that really <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay. Well, all right. That's good to know. Thanks for giving me that little tidbit before we jump into <laughs> the, uh, the predictions. But you guys want to start with Impact? Yeah, let's just yeah, start I'm with Impact. Just, yeah, I'm going to look at the card now. Uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty straightforward, that card really, isn't it? Yeah. I think yeah. I already know all my picks because I don't know half of the people on that. That's what I was saying. I was like, okay, who's this guy? I'm okay. not going with yeah. you. I don't know who you are. So, Well, let's start, uh, let's start, with, the, uh, let's start with the unsanctioned match. Reno Scum versus Heath and Rhino. And uh, I'll, I'll start off on this one. We could just kind of everybody take their turn going first. But I'm going go uh, to go with Reno Scum. I'm going to take him. Because okay. there's down. another pay-per-view okay. coming up in a few weeks, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, Bound for Victory Glory. Road. This is Victory Road. Bound for Glory. Is this is Victory Road, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. I think this is going to lead to a follow-up pay-per-view match. Um, so I think Reno Scum's going to get over here, so that Heath and, and Rhino will get their their revenge on the. Uh, they'll get their comeuppance later in a in a later pay-per-view. Yeah, because I think if Heath yeah. if Heath and Rhino win, it's all about him getting that contract, isn't it? So I think I think you're right. I think I'll I'll stick with you on that one. So. Okay. Yeah, follow follow what they did in WWE with Tifa. Really, it took him ages to get to get that uh, contract, didn't it? So yeah, drag it out a bit longer. Reno scum. I'm gonna I'm gonna go against the grain. Let's do it. I'm gonna take Heath and Rhino. Ooh. This guy, this freaking guy. Controversial. Next, we have Tennille Dashwood coming back against uh, Jordan Grace and uh, Faz. You want to go next? Um, oh, I mean, to near lost in the last impact. Um, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've, I've got to throw all, all my, my chips behind to Neil. I'm, I'm a huge to Neil Dashwood fan, so yeah, I'll go, uh, I'll go second this time. And uh, this is this is Tanil's first match since she's come back, correct? I think she so. hasn't had any matches yet. Has she no, been she, on? She had a match on the last impact, she did <laughs> okay, and I'm yeah. sure she won, right? No, she lost. What? <laughs> yeah. <she lost. laughs> oh my goodness! Who did she face? Um, it was the previous champion. I can't remember her name. Oh. Jordan. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Jordan. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a rematch. Okay. Yeah. So that's why I think to I'm going with Tanil. Go she Jordan. needs a she needs a manager <laughs> called the captain. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a manager, some photographer, Carl with a K or something. His name is. Yeah, like that dude sucks. He's so bad. He's so awful. Bad. Get rid of them. Anybody in the world, doesn't matter what their title is or anything, what their name is or what, what their job title is, just call him the captain and just have him follow her. What's Lou Albano doing? Is he dead? <laughs> you got to know uh, that, dude. You can't just uh, what he's doing. <laughs> what is he doing? What is he doing? Aren't you from Philly? I don't know. Is that a thing? Is he still take, dead? Take your, take your pick. Still dead. Uh, still dead. Oh, he's still dead? All right, I'll, I'll go – Jordan Grace, just because I'm going to fucking throw everybody. I'm going to just <laughs> go against you guys all day. I'm going to Stephen A. Smith this thing. This guy. Uh, Tennille, Tennille for me, um, I, th- I, I imagine she'll probably be Deonna's next like good challenger, believable challenger. So get her started off. Started off well. Get her a big win over an ex-champion. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I, I don't think Jordan Grace is going to win. I'm just doing it for the sake of it. <laughs> yeah. So before we get to the next match, you know what I just realized? I was so excited and nervous that we forgot to do the podcast intro. Ah, you did. Right now. <laughs> you did. We didn't Whatever. Sing. We'll, we'll do it the in the outro. We'll I was going to say, we, yeah, we yeah. always have our award-winning outro that we can hit you with. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, that's what we we'll uh, do. Next on the card, we have Brian Myers versus Tommy Dreamer. And uh, we have uh, hmm. Philly's favorite adopted son, Tommy Dreamer, going up against New York – Born and bred, Brian Myers. Uh, oh, Cass, you go first this time, right? Yeah. Uh, Kurt Hawkins isn't winning. Let's go Tommy Dreamer. Okay. Um, I'll go next again. Uh, I'm going to go with Brian Myers here. As yeah, much as I love Tommy well. Dreamer, I mean, everybody knows what, what Tommy's best at. And, Putting people uh, over? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's why we need him on the push. I'll great. text him. I'll text him later. <laughs> yeah, no, Brian really, Myers I, I for me. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, Brian Myers for me. I think um, again, he's, it's one of them. One of he's one of them characters where he just gets lost no matter where he goes. I'm not even really enjoying what he's doing in Impact at the moment, but 
I still think he'll he'll go over Tommy. Everybody goes over Tommy. Don't tell him I said this. <laughs> uh, well, he liked that, didn't he? He never wanted yeah. to win the title. Never wanted to win. Yeah, he thought it would be better if he never won, and then they put it on him, and he thought it ruined his character. So, yeah. Yeah. Speaking of which, one of the things that I found when I was getting uh, – Going just going through old memorabilia. Oh no, never mind. <laughs> okay, good. great. It's that a teaser. It's a teaser. <laughs> Thanks, mate. It's a teaser for the next episode. <laughs> I found the uh, the ticket stub from the first uh, House of Hardcore match, which was where Cass and I first met. So oh, awesome. I was like, oh, cool. we got to get like a like a Jericho and Sammy pose where we're hugging and get it framed and then frame right that here. with the, with the ticket stub and make it all cutesy and weird. <laughs> I got mine up behind me, but you can't really see it. Oh, you got yours too? Yeah. And I have the, uh, the young bucks beer. Oh my God. That That's a story for another day. We could do a whole episode. Are you sure? That story. Are you sure it's another day or is it? A Dude, we got, we, we got, <laughs> let's get through the card. <laughs> we can circle, circle back. back. We'll circle back to me drinking beers with the bucks and the Sandman and everybody. And me being the only one in our group not in the ring, like, what the hell, man? Oh, don't forget, <laughs> Jay didn't get in the ring. He ran out. He got scared. Schmuck. Yeah, I think, what is it, Bobby Roode scared him away, so he ran away? I don't know. Anyway. There was some kid that wasn't even with us. I was like, who are you? <laughs> He's just like, I don't know, dude. And he was just high-fiving us. I was like, fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Teaser over. We're done. We're moving on to the card. <laughs> Next, we have a free-for-all match, and we have – Looks like a free for all. Austin, or I'm sorry, Ace Austin versus Carl Anderson versus Alex Shelley versus Josh Alexander versus. That's it. Not yeah. to be confused with Ken Anderson, apparently. I mean, yeah. that mistake earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to know what he's doing these days. But he's yeah. been hanging out with Lou Albano, isn't he? Uh, he didn't pass away. Did he's he? wrestling. I, I, know, know. I know he's I wrestling know. somewhere. I saw I saw him on on social the other day. I know he's he's doing something. Maybe he's getting his back tattoo touched up. That thing is fucking hideous. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was expecting Chris to come on and be the heat machine today. But <laughs> I don't know what's it got into me today. Is, I'm Cass over here, is on here pow, just firing off. <laughs> yeah, Cat Cass Nobody's just woke up gonna on, be on our podcast ever again. Shit. Cass woke up <laughs> on the wrong side of the bed, man. Uh, I, we don't want Kenny Anderson on here anyway, so it doesn't matter. I do. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I'm, just, I would love I'm, that. I'm, I'm a classic know. keyboard warrior, man. Twitter hates me. Everybody else loves yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, they do. God damn, man. I wake that's up and I'm like, the... what did he do today? Shit. <laughs> that, that's right. the key. You're a dick. You're a dick on your persona is a dick. You're a gem of a person in real life. I He's a peach. Per, I try to right. give the persona that I'm this like clean cut gem of a person. In reality, I'm just like a shitty asshole. Nobody likes me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you are from Philly. Yeah, that's He's true. Been, He's definitely uh, the Miz of Twitter. <laughs> the Miz of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I love the accents too. I don't think I ever want to have another person on this show that doesn't. Yeah, have Yeah, we're going just, up in the we're going little, up in the demo this week. Yeah, <laughs> this is reaching out to a whole new fan base. Yeah, <laughs> guys, back to the card. Free for all match. <laughs> I'll, I'll go next. I'll go You'll next. Go next. Okay. Uh, Carl Anderson yeah. for the you win. You said Carl Anderson. Yeah, I think it's uh, going to build yeah. up for the most uh, machine guns against the Good Brothers. Okay, Chris, you agree? Yeah, I, I completely agree. Um, I like Alex Shelley, though. I think that's a, that's a dark horse. Um, who, who's the other guys in there? Was it Ace Austin? Ace Austin, yeah. yeah. Ace Austin uh, and Josh Alexander as well. And the North represented. Ace Austin or oh, Carl. Ken Anderson. Ken Anderson for the win. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you're doing a run in. Ken Anderson, you're doing a run in. There we go. That's it. You guys are all taking. Uh... I'm going to take uh, gender uh... in this one. Yeah. Uh, no. I, I realized I was like, wait, no, Ken Anderson isn't in this. It's Carl. <laughs> uh, Is that back. who you're taking, Carl it's Anderson? A yeah, yeah, yeah. Carl Anderson. Easy. Uh, who are you taking? I'm going to write these down. Has anybody said Shelly? No. Not yet, <laughs> no. but I'm going. There so you go. That's yours. I'm going to Then I'm going Ace Austin. Shelley. Ace Austin. <laughs> really? Yeah. Curveball. Okay. Madman Fulton. Mad Fulton comes in and helps him out. Gentlemen, this title is going to end up coming down to this match. I guarantee it. <laughs> the free-for-all where everybody <laughs> chooses something different? Well, nobody took Josh Alexander. We got two oh. for, for Carl Anderson. Don't tell Ethan Page we didn't take Josh Alexander. He'll never come on. But we got three picks in that, in that match. Now, this next one is the Impact X Division Championship match with uh, Rohit Raju. I believe I'm saying that right. I always get his first name wrong. But whatever. Um, I apologize if I got that wrong. But I think this is just an open challenge. The defeat 
yeah. Rohit challenge. So, do you want to just leave that? Let it be. Unless you guys Does have any get specific defeated? picks. Uh, you either take the, the field or you take Rohit. Yeah. Field. 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 Definitely. Maybe, maybe I don't know. What's EC3 doing at the minute? No, he's with that. He busy? Stupid TNA title moose. Yeah, he's still finding the, the proper way yeah. to bury it. Yeah. yeah. Saying, I'm going to cut it up and send it to you every week. What's, what's Rich Swan doing? Actually, Is Rich Swan? He might show up for this one, right? He's, he's, he's after the, um, Eric Young. Uh, yeah. So. What's Ken Anderson doing? What's Ken? <laughs> he's hanging out with Captain Lou. Uh, I'm taking the field. Doing? I'll take the field, too. Yeah, field for me. I I I'd, I've guess. I've not even heard to be honest. I've not even heard of the of the champion before. Going with champion. Put it on the board. Rojad, <laughs> Rojad, Robbie, there we go. Or whatever. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Deez, I just What's noticed your name? tattoos when you went up for your your drink. You got awesome tattoos along your arm, dude. I intentionally wore a vest. I told the group I was going to wear off. a vest just for this. Well, um, this is this is Avengers. Oh, okay. Oh, oh shit, man. Nice. man I'm I'm with that. Oh, yeah. I'm the same, oh. buddy. Are there's you kidding Hulk. me? What no, the fuck? There's my Hulk. Are you talking about this? There's my Captain America oh. right there. Spider Man. How did I not know this? Yeah, uh, I've, got, I've got the Avengers logo up there. Wait, so you guys have essentially not identical, <laughs> but matching. Avengers yeah. arm sleeve <laughs> yeah. tattoos. There we go. Yeah. Uh, you work Chris. together closely, <laughs> even though you don't Thomas. live in the same areas. Nope. And you're just finding this out now. Yeah. Chris that's, has gone yeah. comic, and I've gone movie. That's, that's, yeah. that's awesome. Oh I've, gone, I've gone comic, apart from Rocket. Oh, um, okay. Okay, so I see X-Men in there as well. Rocket, Rocket Raccoon's a bit, more, um, a bit more realistic. Oh, but that's still face. Marvel Universe. That's a there good go. one. That yeah, I saw, I saw Wolverine, so I got my Wolverine number one. I just broke out to go with that. Chris, oh, was that Wolverine. all the same artist? Uh, yeah, 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 same guy. You want to put him on blast? Because that's really good work. <laughs> oh shit! What was his name? Martin. Martin, the tattooist. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. If he's got, well, yeah, if he's on social media, I'll put it in the description. If you yeah, I'll find it. I'll find it. Yeah, for me, for me How as well. Matt? Mine's um, it's Killer B Tattoo Studio in in Liverpool, and it's Mike 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 Phillips. Okay, you there guys you go. see, have you guys seen my Juice bit. and Thunder Liger tattoo? <laughs> Love it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, and Vader. Nice. And you got Vader, Vader bomb. Oh, Vader, Vader bomb. Vader bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. and Ju- like Juice that and Thunder one. Liger. Yeah. He'd show you the rest, but he's got to take his pants off. So yeah, no, I got to turn <laughs> we'll around. Save that after the puff. <laughs> you got to turn around Wars for one. the tramp stamp. My Star oh, Wars one is new... on the back of my leg, and it's really hard to, for me to see. I fall down trying to show it to people. <laughs> There's my Star Wars. Can you oh, see that? Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I do. Rebel. Upside down. Oh, oh see, good. I'm glad I got the Galactic I Empire on my leg. I got the Galactic Empire on my leg. If I can figure out how to put it up there. No, I can't do it. I'll flip out of the chair. This year, you're like, bloop, bloop. And I'll be like upside down. Fuck it. Anyway. I'm boring, guys. I don't have any tattoos. I got a scar oh. on my leg that used to look like a Nike swoosh that was he, about kind of <laughs> Yeah, he thinks he's a lawyer, so he can't have tattoos. No, 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 no. I always said if I ever get a tattoo, the first one that I ever want to get would be once I pass the bar, knock on wood, uh, would be to get the scales of justice somewhere discreet. But I'm not, I'm not against tattoos. I just yeah, I, uh, I want to wait until – uh, big monumental life period to get my first one. I got my uh, Hannibal Lecter and Jason masks on my arm here too. Okay. Okay. I got. I got I've like never. I've never wanted a wrestling one. I don't know why. I don't, there's. There's not many like logos other than maybe the Hardy Boys logo. I could, I, I, I See, that was my thing that. too. Is I was like, I don't really want a logo, <laughs> but then I started thinking. I, I I saw a Vader tattoo I liked at Starcast, and I was like, I kind of like that. And I asked the guy how much he wanted for it, and it was like fucking ridiculous. It was like he wanted like four hundred bucks to do it. He was gonna do it like tiny, yeah. and I was like. No, nah, man, I'm wow. good. So I just took a picture of it, <laughs> took it to my guy here in North Carolina, and he, like, whipped it up something better. And, like, it was not even 100. He gave me, he gave it to me cheap. But he's a good guy to go to. I'll put him over in the, in the comments later. We'll, we'll do that. He did the Vader one, too. Vader's son retweeted it. He liked that one. But the Jushin and Liger one I did right after he retired because I just thought the mask looked good. Yeah. I was like, that kind of looks Japanese. People won't know. They'll, they'll think it. They won't know it's a wrestling tattoo unless I explain it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember when The Rock – ended up like redoing his his Brahma bull tattoo yeah. and posted the picture. I remember being so like 
un, unreasonably disappointed and sad about it. It's like, <laughs> I shouldn't be this sad about some r- random person changing a tattoo on his body, but I felt like my childhood was gone. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, I never, I never loved somebody else's tattoo more than like everybody like Goldberg's tribal armband, but I always thought the Brahma Bull was just so classic. That's the same way I felt when uh, Lance Archer covered up his uh, tramp stamp, you know? I'm so <laughs> glad that he did that. I'm going to watch that a lot of people here, but I hate tribal tattoos. Yeah. Oh, me too. Me too, man. I hate them. They just don't look good. They Unless don't. you're in a tribe. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Unless you're in a tribe, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, if you're in a tribe, then it's different. But, yeah, if, like, Joe Schmo that lives on my block decides to get a tribal armband, it's like, dude, you're <laughs> Italian. You're not in a tribe. Get out of here. <laughs> Wait, so right. what's next? We got the uh, – do we all finish the X Division prediction on that one? I went with Rod, yes. whatever uh, his field. name is. You, yeah, we all went field. You Except went for me, jumping. I went Draja. <laughs> Ro, what's his name? Raja, wait, Rohit Raju? Yeah, that guy. Nailed it. I think it's oh, Rohit Raju. <laughs> that guy. Enough. Close enough. Uh, that guy. So, now that we get past that, yeah. we're back to the card. Impact Knockouts Championship. Champion Deanna yeah. Perrazzo against Susie. I'll go first. I'm going to go with the, with the champ, Deanna. I love Deanna Praza, dude. She she's awesome, and I love that she's getting highlight. High, yeah, she's getting highlighted here in uh, Impact as opposed to just not being properly utilized in NXT. And I'm really hoping that she doesn't get lost in the shuffle when they put when Impact goes all in on Kylie. Mm-hmm. But in the meantime, <laughs> in between time, I'm going with Deanna Praza. Well, she hasn't signed a full proper contract, has she? Last nope. time I heard, she's on a roll, isn't she, at the moment? Yeah, um, yeah, I, I, yeah. Still th- I still think uh, she wins. That's, yeah, it's clear, yeah. written in the stars, easy. Yeah, same, Apart, agreed. Pass, because he's going with Susie. No, no, <laughs> what, what the fuck's a Susie? No, no, we're going with Deanna on this, Deanna on this one. I like Susie. I like what they were doing with, their, like with her in Wrestle House. Yeah, I just don't think she's, I don't think you're going to put the belt on her right now. I think no. you want to keep yeah. I think you want to keep Deanna, Deanna your champion because you're they're building to that uh, other match, weren't they? With her, weren't they doing something? Are they teasing <laughs> a, a, a next cha- a contender for her? I thought I saw. I don't know. I haven't watched a lot of Impact. I kind of it's on in the background when I'm doing other shit. The, the thing with Deanna is the thing with Deanna is she's a name. Like people yeah. know Deanna. Anyone that's watched WWE watched NXT. Like if your champion is Susie, that's like having I don't know, like your world champion being Steve. Yeah, or, Steve. Or Dave. He's good, it's not though. like <laughs> Steve's is a top Steve's very good. He's Steve's crazy. Is underrated. <laughs> underrated. Crazy but Steve. Like, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not tuning in to see Susie. No. You know, I'm not choosing in to see Stuart, David, whatever. You know, it's um, Deanna. Yeah, Deanna, all the way, all the way. Easy. I get what you're saying as far as like bringing in a casual fan, trying to bring new eyes into the product. Uh, but I do really like Susie's character. How she's yeah, I do like, too. Yeah. And I, I think she will be the next challenger once Kylie wins. I think Susie will because they were kind of teasing her turn on the last impact because Kylie was kind of like, you know, you, you've got it. You'll win. You'll win. And I think from Susie's perspective, that might be the heel turn that she needs. But I think that, again, that will happen once Kylie gets the win. But I still think yeah, Prazo comes out with this. So, uh, <laughs> so are we all yeah. across Deanna the board? Yes, yeah. Deanna. Yeah. Push. Yeah. That one's a push. Let's push it right into the main event, the Impact World Heavyweight Championship match between your new champion, um, Eric Young, and former champion, now challenger, Eddie Edwards. I, uh, I love Aisha Edwards. I'm just, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> I, I, it's, it's, it, I mean, the, <laughs> it's like a re, I sound like I'm pretty redundant, but um, I love Tyron Wrestlehouse. And yeah. I didn't really notice her all that much until Wrestle House. And I feel like when she was talking more and getting more camera time, I, I was able to kind of get more, get to see her more. And now since then, when she confronted Eric Young, I really liked that segment. And ever since then, I've been all in on her. Uh, I think she's probably going to have a big part of the match tonight. Uh, I don't know if it's going to lead to Eddie getting the title back but I can see her being a big part of the outcome. And 
Uh, you know what? Eric Young. I'm taking Eric Young. I want to see Eddie Edwards win it, but I think Eric Young's been overlooked for far too long to uh, to have his first run like this be so short. So I'm going to go with Eric Young here. Yeah, I think with the with the Rich Swan highlight coming straight after this, it's yeah, it, it, it's it's yeah. it's an EY win. EY win. Yep, agreed, agreed. I think um, not just because I want him to win because of how he was treated in WWE with sanity and then Jesus chasing the 24 7 championship. Like the second you're chasing that, that's you done. You're done. You're done, yeah. you're done if in you're WWE. Not our truth, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, if you're not our truth or maybe <laughs> Drake Maverick, you're Did done. Did they just make the belt for our truth? Like, you need something. Yeah. You're giving the belt. Yeah. yeah. Give yeah, him this basically, one. yeah. Just so they can um, say he's had like so like ten years from now when he's like a commentator on the pre-show, they could be like, "Oh, you hands down have twice as many championships as any champion in WWE history." Correct. More than and Flair then, and Steena combined. And then, and then Raven what? comes out of left field like, "Don't forget my '97 <laughs> hardcore victories, bitch." <laughs> Isn't it like right. how many? How many is it now for True? 40, 41? Yeah, yeah three-time yeah, champion. Yeah, he's he's like, like, uh, what, really, what was Raven? He was like in the forties himself, though, wasn't he? Like a hardcore yeah, champion. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that. I think when it comes to to keeping track of our truths, twenty-four-seven uh, victories, it's kind of like that Arrested Development type accounting, where every time you mention it, it just like <laughs> duplicates in numbers by a lot more than <laughs> it really is. Oh, yeah, sure. Talking to the guy in the, the $64,000 suit. Come on. That's what Jer- we were saying that's what Jericho really should have done with his jacket that Orange Cassidy ruined. Every week it should have just been more and more valuable. Like, yeah. yeah. Started out at 7000 By the time the match happened, it was a $120,000 jacket. <laughs> I, I think he actually tried to get away from that because when he was doing that similar segment with giving the car to John Moxley, there were like two or three weeks where he did do that, and then he stopped. Yeah, and I away. feel like – Maybe it was because of the comparisons to that. Maybe he was like, ah, screw it. But with the jacket, he kind of did because every week it got more and more More orange. orange. That was fantastic. And I love that Jim Ross referenced that finally. He's like, that jacket just keeps getting oranger every week. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) But And in a way, it was more original. Yeah, that that wraps it up for Impact. So let's get into the WWE card. Like you said, Chris, the reason why most people are here. Here (laughs) I actually know what I'm talking about now. All right, so I don't, this is, I don't have a clue. I haven't looked at this card yet. I'm not gonna lie. How are you the How are you the boss of this operation? <laughs> I'm the worst, man. As you made it clear, me, me and Chris run it. You do the podcast. <laughs> I do a lot. I do a lot of stuff behind the scenes. You guys don't know about. <laughs> he's like coughing through it, lads. He's like smoking a blunt. Like I'm the face. I'm the face. You guys you're, are the brains. My, it's the first time we've kayfabe what I'm actually doing here. Yeah, so my mom's gonna, my mom's definitely gonna hate you now. <laughs> I didn't think of that. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't give a shit. I already told you I was a felon. Remember that? Remember that show? Yeah, I, I yeah. listened to that one. Yeah, my mom was like, why did you tell people? I was like, because I don't fucking care. <laughs> but to be fair, that's a term that I, I say for those cheap cigars that you can buy at Wawa or 7-Eleven. You don't have to. You don't have to. Cut I don't know, but I'm going to. So the I Hunter don't S. Thompson of wrestling journalism does not give a shit. I don't time. understand why you waste time and 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 your money smoking such cheap cheap cigars that you can get i'm gonna i'm gonna send you some nicer cigars so that you can stop getting gas station That's cigars fine. and and smoking those do it here. you All don't right. need to send them just like reach over the table and give so, them a yeah, i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie my my ex-fiance's dad used to like back in the day he lived in florida and they used to run planes he used to kind of do some stuff they probably shouldn't do with planes so he had a bunch of Cuban cigars NXT bro so car. I literally I literally have rolled a blunt I'm with trying a Cuban to help you before. Cass how do I, I don't care you? dude I'm alright so we're on to the <laughs> NXT card now guys and we are moving on here I'll unmute him. it's for your own good buddy <laughs> he's, he's still not muted <laughs> <laughs> he's going nuts <laughs> That was just faking that too. I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really even so, talking. I was just being dramatic. It was before fun. you. I know, but before you get carried away, let's get to the NXT card. And is that tomorrow? Are, though? That's on Sunday now, right? It is Sunday on night. Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't want to so, compete with that TNA pay per view, man. They felt no. the they felt the threat coming. <laughs> they were feeling the that. Susie. Yeah, they're like, "Fuck, dude! I don't know. That Susie and Deanna match might watch. Might steal All- our." 
demo. You guys are you guys are going to be kicking yourselves when that ends up being like a sixteen and a half star match goes know, for yeah. forty five minutes. Match of the year candidate. All right, so <laughs> NXT card starts off with poor Chris is like, why did I come on this annoying <laughs> show with these schmucks? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah. I'm just. I need uh, to live up to my. I need to live up to my Twitter persona more. So, um, <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, yeah. fuck you, and fuck you. Uh, what yeah. I was gonna say. Uh, Cash AW, is making you work AW for it today. Shit. Um, <laughs> fuck WWE. Uh, what else is oh, there? You'll get fans because you say fuck WWE. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes I will. Yeah, you will. Should we, should we talk about new followers? Should we talk about retribution? Or should we just leave that for another day? <laughs> Let's do it. That's good. It's fresh. Tiva. Well, <laughs> let's talk about my friend. Oh, man. Dude, why Tiva. does Jack hate us so much? I don't understand. Like, he's, uh, he was I just healing out on everybody. That was his thing. Yeah, That's all he's been doing. It, it, well, it I, literally, I literally tagged him because I wanted to get roasted. And I got he was doing that all morning, it looked like. It looked like I was like, he looked like he's shooting off at everybody this morning. So it looked like he yeah. just was like, took his shot and see if he'll take one at you. And he did. He baited up yeah. real good on that one. That's yep. that's the the genuine reason why I bring it up because even though it gets away from the card, I feel like Donovan Dijak is now head shaven, bane mask, doing face paint, and is given the name T Bar with a gimmick that is sure to ruin any future that he has in WWE. Because how how do you get away from this yeah. easily? So all he has that he can control is just roasting people on Twitter so that they hate him so much that he can get over despite the shittiness of his uh, character or the yeah. shittiness, not his character, but what he's given. You know what I mean? No, so, no. It's the shittiness of his character. You said it right. Yeah. But yeah, I don't want to, well, again, it's nothing that I'm not saying anything against him as a wrestler or anything that is within his well, control. It's not his fault that he's got a shitty character. I mean, or uh, even the delivery of it, you know. I mean, so. they're doing the best they can with a bag of shit. So, mm-hmm. whatever. If they if they were just a faction on Twitter, it would be the most over thing in the company right now. But Agreed. all the good work that they do on Twitter is ruined when they go on Raw. And this is what my tweet was. My tweet was not an attack on Retribution. I love Retribution. I love the idea. I don't love the execution because, like I quite rightly pointed out, this is a faction that wants to ruin destroy WWE. They want to destroy Raw. They want to destroy Vince McMahon. Let's give them a 10-minute promo. Let's give them a slot. Let's give them a... um, Let's give them a logo. It just doesn't make sense. That's what I was talking about. It doesn't make sense. What they're doing on Twitter is incredible. Dijakovic is an amazing talent. Look at what he did with Keith Lee in NXT. Like, three of the best matches that NXT have ever had. Hands down, that didn't involve Johnny Gargano. Um, but it, it was doomed to fail from the start. I think with fans, this would be so over. You know, that, that pure, genuine reaction, that shock when they, was it, did they firebomb a generator? Something like that, wasn't it, on the, on the very first time? Yeah, it was like some Molotov cocktails. <laughs> I think it would have been great, great until they showed up with their mask when everybody knew who they were. There was no reason yeah. to put masks on them. I mean, you leave the masks yeah. fine, but there's no reason to change their fucking names. Because it's like you made the masks where you can see their faces so we all know who you are, even though you're trying to repackage them and change their name and exactly. they just not know who it is. It would have made more sense hey, just to let hair. them be who they are in Retribution. Like, these guys we yeah. knew in NXT, they're unhappy and disgruntled and they want to do what they say they're going to do because it makes sense because there they were we knew what they were doing we can see their body of work but to tell just to tell us there's somebody different and to ignore what they did in nxt yeah. which is the basis of why they're fucking pissed off at you and up there now anyway is just fucking stupid Definitely. but i don't know why i'm surprised that wwe did something really fucking stupid that makes no sense but whatever <laughs> Again, it's another one like Keith Lee. No, no direction. It's not going to go anywhere. It's not building yeah, anything not, at yeah, all. Yeah. That, that's that's the frustration because you could have come at it at, at, at such a good way with like an NWA angle where you know they just come up and they show and they destroy and they and then they leave. But now, as as Chris said, you have them in the ring for ten minutes often when all backstage is meant to be pissed off with them. <laughs> it takes yeah. twenty minutes for the for the hair business to come and out to a phenomenal. Why do you why are the heels fighting the heels? Like exactly. Again, exactly. there yeah. you go. It's like Fuck that doesn't on. make any sense. Well, I mean I like it for the hurt business, but it doesn't make any sense really 
at all for anybody. I mean, like it should be the other way around. The baby faces should be coming out and the hurt business should, at least they should come out with the back them up or something, but I don't yeah. get it. It's bad. Well, I don't see the hurt business as being heels or baby faces. I just see them being no, they, awesome. They were the higher when yeah, they they're were just higher on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're on yeah. their own they're level. for themselves. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. As they should be, but they do what's right, but they make, so th th that's what I love about the way Hurt Business has been incorporated into this so far is they do what's right, but they make sure that they get their end out of it. It's not yeah, necessarily they do what's right, for them. right, but it's not even necessarily like they do what's right when they want to. It's like, nah, we'll do what's right because we're good people, but we're going to make sure that you understand our value as we do it and we get what's coming to us as a result. And I think that's yeah. awesome. That's like the best presentation. But. I, I still think that Retribution needed a big name to be the actual leader yeah. of it. Not just, I mean, Dijakovic's fine. Yeah. He could be your number two guy behind whoever came in and he's the one doing the all your work for you. Yeah. But that could I, still I happen know. though. I think yeah. it's too far gone now to have somebody show up and be like, I'm the real leader of the group. Cause like yeah. the fuck, where were you the whole time this was going on? Like they never exactly. talked about you. Like they should have referenced him if there was going to be somebody like, I uh, think they're past that now. And I think the only name big enough to really save it would maybe be CM Punk. But would, uh, would he come I, back for this? I, I would have went with Randy. I think Randy going for yeah. the dream. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ambulance match, have them all come out, destroy him, put him in, go, boat, Randy's there. There you go, title. it wrote itself. There's, but... his, there, there's his heel, there's his faction. That's Evolution 2.0. You know, yep. that, that's, his, yeah, that's yeah. his thing yep. to run with. But instead, Randy's putting night vision goggles on with no lights and beating people up with chairs in five seconds. That was a cool I spot. loved that. I loved that. <laughs> Weren't those just <laughs> swimmer's <laughs> goggles? Like, wasn't he wearing like a regular no, like, kid's they, they were from. Goggles? No, they were from Call of Duty. If you bought Call of Duty. Oh. Night vision. Night vision. <laughs> so they were just pool goggles that were painted to look like Call of Duty yeah. special specs. Yeah. All right. yeah. Yeah. Who cares? You hilarious. know what? I don't play Call of Duty, and it looked real to me, damn it. It was <laughs> over. <laughs> and if Dragon and, and Nighthawk battle. can have night vision goggles when they're 40, so can Randy, John, uh, Randy Orton when he's 46 <laughs> or however old he is. <laughs> yeah, and Randy Orton's got, got his own money. He's not living in his parents' room. He's got that Randy Orton money, bro. Yeah, he could bust out some real night vision goggles if he wants. He doesn't have to steal them from his kid that bought the special edition from GameStop. <laughs> But look, we've seen in the past that the uh, the actual leader doesn't necessarily need to be talked about. That could be something that's written in after. Shane McMahon wasn't the leader of the corporate ministry. It was me, Austin. It was me all along. Which is where yeah. I'm at in my chronological watching of WWF right now. Yeah, well, I think the problem you've got there is that's when they planned it. <laughs> yes, that's when they had stuff written out where the stories actually carried over from week to week to not like, yeah. what did we do last week? Yeah. Ah, 10 minutes it. to go oh there you go you win tonight you win tonight you do this you do that now get out Awful. I, uh, I, I know this is this is this is pretty old news at this point but i don't think we've really spoken about it much for a while um on the subject of retribution and an angle that's not really working or wwe don't really know what they're doing what the fuck happened with the smackdown hacker uh, he's on Raw now, hanging out with um, uh, <laughs> Ricochet. He's hanging out with Ricochet and Apollo. I just want them to bring. He's that doing back main event stove. matches on. He's, he's on WWE main event, which I didn't know was a thing unless you live in Canada. Apparently, you can still watch it. Yeah. What's that? Is it on YouTube or Facebook? Or it's still on the network, but yeah, yeah, the they don't even oh, really? that show exists. Like that's what's even crazy to me is they don't even tell you that it's even in existence of their broad nice. of their programming. So Same with 205 Live. I had no idea they were still doing 205 Live until my roommate was trying to tell me about it the other day. I'm like, that's a fucking thing. They still are. He's like, yeah, it comes on right after SmackDown. I was like, on TV? He's like, no, no, it's on the network. I'm like, they don't fucking talk about it. Like, yeah, how, do they not, how do they not tell you to do Don't forget to tune into the network to watch 205 Live, which runs yeah. live right afterwards. Exactly. Fucking tell me about it. Well, that's probably come, that probably comes into the license, uh, licensing agreements that they have with Fox. They're not going to. They're you probably mean to tell me that they don't have good enough fucking lawyers to be like, we need to plug our stuff. I'm telling you that Fox Network probably has good enough lawyers where if they're paying you a billion dollars, then you're not really going to use your high paid lawyers. Uh, well, what about this? Things like that. They have this thing called social media where they can at least tell you about it too. Yeah. When was the last time you saw yeah. a tweet being like, tune in to 205 Live? Or do they cover 205 Live like they do the other shows? I don't even know if they do. No, All I'm saying is that might be part of it too. 
that might be part of that that I, and I could be wrong. I could always be wrong, but I I'm always guarantee be right too. they're wrong I on this always one. Be right. <laughs> you're a lawyer. You're trying to lawyer this one up, but it's I'm not lawyer-ish. Like, <laughs> Stop trying to jinx <laughs> me, it. man. God damn it! No, that, yeah. NXT card. Let's get to NXT it. card. <laughs> oh, there is one of those. Yeah, shit. Okay. Welcome to the Who's show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put in the description to anybody that doesn't care about the NXT or that doesn't care about anything other than the NXT prediction. Just fast forward to this. So. You think people podcast, are about impact? Podcast, <laughs> podcast, <laughs> with Cassie, and Chris, you guys and Dom. Well, that's got a nice ring to it, hasn't it? Cass, Chris, go, Paz, yeah. Dom. Yeah, there you go. There's your thought. All right. I'm, I'm shocked that I was able to get everybody's name in there without screwing it up somehow. Usually that's my gimmick. Is I <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Yeah, screw up every Are animal. you wearing your work hat? Stamponi yeah. Law? That's, is it Stamponi or how did I say it right? That is, that is, in fact, the Metagon way to say it. Uh, the Stamponi. actual way to say it is Stampone. Which way do you pronounce oh, it? Oh, the E is silent. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry, what were you saying, Cass? No, I was just asking, how do you actually say it? Is Stampone. It to, okay. Yeah. But I don't know if they want me to associate myself with them outside of but work. Then, good thing you wore so, the hat with the logo, like, right there. Good thing you wore the right <laughs> Nobody, really will, know. Just Nobody hair, will know as I you know can what? read it. If I Actually, can fucking read it, because I'm blind as shit. If I can fucking read it, then like <laughs> you're not doing a good job. You'd have to have a, a blade. Your, like, your disguise is real oh, bad. Shit. There we go. Yeah, when I zoom in on you, I can read it. We'll fix it in gonna, post, bro. I only put it we'll on it to hide my disgustingly matted down hair. But you know what? I'm going to let it rage. Dude. Oh, man, hold on. You want to see the Sopranos uh, Polly Walnuts look, bro? Hold on. I got silver streaks like Polly Walnuts. Hang on. Check this out. All right. There we go. Actually, doesn't look too bad right now. I cover that shit up, my dude. All right. Looking rough this morning, but no. (laughs) So, NXT (laughs) car. Who's on? It? Welcome Let's, to the show. I'm gonna Google it while we're sitting here not talking it's about a, it. I've got it written down. It's a good card. It's a very yeah. good card. All right. All right. Let's, I can uh, tell. Yeah. let's start with the cruiserweight title. Santos Escobar against Isaiah Swerve Scott. And I'm going with my boy Santos Escobar. Yeah. All the way. Yeah. All the way. All, all the way. way. That is like- I what's, what's the five life? What's that? I want Santos to win, but uh, I'm going to be biased here and go with Swerve because that's my, that's my dude. Shane Strickland is one of my guys. He's one of these PWX guys. I know him kind of well, a little bit well there. He did the show before he signed. He, one of the podcasts he did right before he like couldn't do anymore was with one of our old shows. So I'm going to lean with oh, awesome. uh, Swerve. Okay. Yeah, even though he's gonna lose, this is where I like fucking go off the rails. Where I'm just like, <laughs> like every every episode, how did you do so bad? I because I just fucking just shoot wildly. It's terrible. So this either is that it. or because you're you're going on your own on your own thing here. So you can, oh yeah, you bias kicks in. It. It's terrible. Bias kicks in. I'm like ah. Next bad. we have uh, we have Kishida versus the Velveteen Dream. I'm going with Kushida. I God, love the way yeah, they've been uh, presenting him recently. Who can fucking pull for Velveteen Dream here? <laughs> <laughs> if, anyone's gonna, you. You. <laughs> if anyone's going to, it's you. No, um, I can't pull myself. I can't make myself do that. I'm going to be like, Ugh. I'm going to go with the guy that everybody forgot existed, Kushida, just because like I can't fucking pick a pedophile. <laughs> okay, right then. I'm going to piss, I'm I'm piss a lot of people off on Twitter. Um... <laughs> No, I, I, I can't go for Dream on this one. Not not because he's a, a piece of shit or anything, but because um, Kushida, I, I like this new Kushida a lot. I think this is the Kushida we should have seen from day one. He shouldn't have lost. He should have never lost his undefeated streak. Um, because ever since then, he's just sort of faded away. I forgot about Kushida. Yeah, that's what he, I was saying. I was he was like, a he's, thing. Still, he's still a thing. And my roommate was like, yeah, he's great. I'm like, ah, fuck. I'm glad somebody told me. <laughs> I didn't know. How do you run this website? <laughs> not well. Not well at all, man. <laughs> I'm getting better. I gave up. I gave up for a hot minute. I was like, I've done it. I did it for so long by myself where I'm like, fuck it. That's like flipped the table and just like walked away. I was like, I'm done watching this shit. And I was just like, not even watching it while I was doing it for a while. I'm getting better. See, that's why I call you the jefe. Cause really you're, you're not like a boss. You're like a mob boss. You just, yeah. you just, Everybody <laughs> kicks up to you, and you just direct the minion. Hey, got the hair for it. I do got the hair for it. Get the papers. Anyway. Get the papers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, 
we all uh and so i keep getting distracted by ricky steamboat and rick flair from clash of champions uh 1989 here sorry very nice Sorry, I keep, if you keep seeing me look away, I'm not watching the Impact uh, pay-per-view like I, I should have been doing. But. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I got a blank screen right now because uh, football is on and American football, guys, college football. Football. So, uh, yeah, if I was going to be – if I had anything on, it would be to that. So I'm, I'm trying to – Wait, is it on there. already? It's a, not, there's not games on it this early in the morning yet. Believe it – college game day is my favorite TV oh, show. Oh, the, the – t- okay. But That's believe not it or actual- not, Faz, Chris, this is actually me trying to stay focused. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a good job. Oh, wow. He's oh, like, do great job. job. Wrangling this, great he's wrangling me the fuck back in the day. It's, I'm all over the place this morning. Shocking. <laughs> Can you tell my, med- my fucking ADHD medicine has not kicked in yet today? Probably because I forgot to take it. Because I'm like, I was like say, we're doing a show this morning? When you guys called and woke me up, I'm like, what the fucking time is it? Because, Dom, if you remember, what was the last thing you said to me last night? When I was like, hey, man, what time are we doing this tomorrow? You're like, let me get back to you. I'll let you know. Oh, you know what didn't no. happen? No, it didn't happen. He called me this morning to let me know, hey, where are you? We're doing it now. And I'm like, uh, give me a second. I'm totally not awake at all. So then it was just that's a, yeah, yeah, that's, give me yeah, a yeah. second. Give me a second. You, Let me have an hour long so shit. High down here. Don't well, what happened is I like <laughs> fell asleep. I Good fell asleep. Job. I woke back up. I was like, yeah, I'm ready. And then I fell right so back quick. asleep. So I was like, oh, fuck, I really got to do this. And then I had to like actually do, like, take a shit. And then my dog needed to take a shit. And I'm like, this is K-Fabe, just... bro. K-Fabe. K-Fabe. But this is all you, bro. This is all you be not like following up with me last night. You're like, yeah, hang on. Let me tell you. And then you just so did back to, not tell back me. to the NXT card. Back to the NXT yeah, card. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kushida. Who's on it? We all picked Kushida. Yeah, we all. All right. Yeah. Next up, we have. No, the, Cass has uh, got Swerve. Cass has got Swerve on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, no, I got Swerve on Escobar. Uh, yeah. Kushida was wrestling the Velvet oh, yeah, yeah, trial. Yeah. And uh, the NXT North American title should should Faz and Chris even be allowed to vote on this one? Uh, yeah. That's you're the champ. You decide. There's no European title, so I mean that would be kind of <laughs> racist <laughs> of you. Hold on, yeah. hold on. That would be very racist <laughs> of you against people from over the other side of the world here. Let me check the official UN charter. Okay. <laughs> and see what it says. And uh, yes, you are allowed to. Okay, good, international good. nations oh, are allowed to vote on the North American title. Good deal. Oh, no, I, it's all right. I zoned out for a minute. I forgot what we were talking about. Um, I was looking up. <laughs> that happens, man. There's, so there's the audience. There's, don't worry. So I was looking up the UN in. charter to see if you guys are allowed to weigh in on this next match. So for the North American Championship, we have champion Damian Priest against challenger and NXT Hall of Famer. Already should be Hall of Famer, uh, Johnny Gargano. Yeah, yeah. What this, a good storyline that would be, by the way. Just having Johnny Gargano as the only Hall of Famer, and yeah. right. they just create the so Hall of Fame yeah, for man. Johnny yeah. Gargano. That would be yeah. so yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually, that would yeah. be good. That would yeah, be amazing. People actually care. People don't <laughs> like him. I, one of my uh, buddies, man, he's like he he's like Johnny Gargano is the only wrestler that I should really care about that I don't. And I'm like, why? He's like, I don't know. He just he's good at wrestling, but that's it. I don't like him. And I'm like, why, man? He's like, I don't know. I can't tell you. There's just something about Johnny Gargano I don't give a fuck about. But I actually, for as much I, as I, I just do. typed him up, I can I can understand that viewpoint. That said, in the ring, amazing, yeah, no, amazing, amazing. No, 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 no. My buddy says the no, same no, no. thing. He's like, he's in fantastic in the ring, but like, eh. He's buying like, oh, into him, isn't it? <laughs> you just can't buy into what he's selling. Like, I, kinda, I like I him better as a heel than I did as a baby face, though. Because as a Definitely. baby face, I was just like, all right, I'm going to probably not pay attention for 20 minutes because I tune out to that, that shit, just that cheesy yeah. baby face stuff that doesn't – bubblegum shit doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, um, since um, since Johnny versus Champa, is, uh, I, yeah, I've lost a bit of interest. And he's like my, my favorite guy on any roster. And really? Even, even, I've, even I've tuned out a little bit mm. since – since yeah. him versus Champa went on for like what seven years and like fifty matches, yeah. that rivalry went on far too long. But I think, I think, I think the outcome of this match <clears> depends <throat> for me on if Io Shirai versus Candice is on before, and the outcome of that. If Candice wins that, Johnny beats Priest. Yeah, because those two running NXT would be amazing. Be so yeah, good. I, I don't so agree. I, we, we've already spoke about this, Chris. I think that if Candice wins. Johnny loses. Really? And I think it's that power. You've got the title. I haven't. You yeah, start seeing those yeah. things start to Ooh. twist and turn. And I just don't think Johnny got the win. 
on NXT on Wednesday, and I just don't see him getting the win again. I, yeah. WWE always does that. That's how they do it. Whoever oh, loses, fifty-fifty booking, goal. where you win, you lose. Yeah. You win, you lose. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think it's going to be Priest for this one. I just don't think they're going to take the title off him that this quickly. Yeah, me either. They're they're trying to build him up as something uh, big, and I think you need yeah. to have him have a defiant victory over like somebody like Johnny Gargano. That's definitely like you said, the Hall of Fame. He is the Hall of Fame, right? So. Yep. Yeah, and I think like, I agree with you. I think it causes more like friction between him and Candice if he if he loses and she wins, yeah. and I like that. I was gonna say that I think she beats EO. So yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I uh, I feel like I'm kind of cheating here because I'm going last on this one, and what you guys just said definitely swayed uh, the way I would pick because they're they're both excellent points. Um, Faz, I think you make a good point though. I think it's gonna go one one way for one. I think it's going to go one way for Candice and another way for Johnny. Yeah, and yeah. for that reason, I'm going to go with Damian Priest here. Yeah, I think too. Johnny's right now, his role is to put people over uh, and who more than his uh, real life wife. Yeah. Uh, who actually, I feel bad because I purposely put Candice low so that she would be in the frame, not realizing that she's so low that <laughs> she's blocked by these action figures. So, so yeah. bad, but Candice what? is back there being represented. Um, is, I'm going to go with Damian Priest here, but yeah. okay. to your point, I'm also taking Candice in the next match. Me too. Yeah. Uh, and that next match is the NXT Women's Championship, where she is the challenger against the champion Io Shirai, who I absolutely freaking love. I love and Io I, Shirai. I yeah, hate to yeah, see yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I hate to see the title come off of her, but you guys made excellent points, and I think that's going to be Candice's time and Johnny uh, yeah. wiping her up as the new. Yeah. Yeah, and I think Candice has as well waited because... so long. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's due. She's due. And with Blackheart winning on Wednesday, I think that's going to be a first challenger. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, she she faced uh, Dakota Kai, correct? Yeah. Yes. And I love Dakota Kai, um, but I, and I would love to see her have a, <clears throat> a heel run. I really wanted to see her have a heel run when she was still with Raquel Gonzalez as her, yeah. uh, as her muscle. And I saw so many parallels with just like a Shawn Michaels diesel kind of scenario, but done right. Um, but I think it's looking less and less likely that we'll see that as it was. But yeah, I definitely think Chris, like you were saying, Candace is well overdue for her own title run. And I yeah, think man. as much as I love EO, she is very much uh, somebody who will be promoting the other talent moving forward uh, in, in the way I can see it going but i think candace is going to have a long title reign maybe through the holidays as well yeah definitely. male or female candace is one of the best wrestlers in the world mm. easily yeah. easily definitely cast did you give your your opinion oh on yeah this? uh go uh, with candace, candace. yeah go okay candace. so that's a wash right yeah it's a wash or yeah a okay yeah i think Chris, you went for gargano didn't you yeah i went for for johnny and that, that's just bias Man, I love yeah, I yeah. love Johnny. I will push him to the moon, man. His yeah. his match against Omas Andrade back when he had a full name. Um, <laughs> that uh, was at NXT Takeover Philly. Philly, yeah, Philly. I saw that live. And Chris, that is oh. I I always say that is the greatest oh, cool. match that I ever saw live. My yeah, Johnny it's, Gargano it's, Dragon Gate USA 2011 yeah. ticket from WrestleMania weekend. But I'm sorry, I don't I want to cut you off. I would have seen that saying. live. It was one, one of the best matches I've ever seen. It was the first match that I showed my now wife, <clears> and that got her into wrestling. Which really? Which a lot about. She'd never watched wrestling. She knew, like, John Cena. She knew The Rock. She knew Hulk Hogan. She knew The Undertaker. But she'd never watched it. That match turned her into a fan. That match was incredible. Yeah. And you ever since that day... And I'll be honest. I, I, you know, NXT had been going for a long time, but I... I took about a five-year gap, I think. I came back around the Yes Movement sort of period. So I'd not seen a lot of NXT. Um, and that was literally my first pay-per-view, NXT TakeOver Philly. So that match pretty much... You were there, Dom, right? Wrestling. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm sorry, Chris. Keep going. I was just looking for my ticket stub. I think it's over there. No, the no. Um, I was basically done. But yeah, that, that match is what got me back into wrestling in a big way. Um and as I say, it got her into wrestling. I think that, that match was just so good. And ever since then, I cannot go against Johnny. Yeah. At all. Cannot go against him. He's a five-star match machine. 
I, you know, whoever, whoever comes out of that match <clears throat> as the winner, doesn't matter. That will be, for me, that's the match of the night. I love Damian Priest. I think he's vastly underrated. He's a great big guy. Um, and I've enjoyed his run so far. But I, I, I just can't go against Johnny. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that Johnny Gargano has at least listened to one episode of our show, Dom. Did you know that? Are you serious? Well, he's best friends with Greg. Oh, Him my God. Yeah, that's like right. Best friends. Like, any time Johnny's ever done anything great in WWE, Greg's been in the in the crowd and in the back with him hanging out. Like, they train together. They, they're, they like, best friends. So, I guarantee you at least listen to that episode. So, well, that'd be cool. Yeah. I mean, Johnny Gargano is technically, like, a fan of the show, a friend of the show. So, let's go with Johnny Gargano. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> but no, I did speak Damian Priest, so sorry. <laughs> I uh and and you know what? I I loved when Damian Priest on the Indies was going by Punishment Martinez. I thought that was yeah. such a cool name. Yeah. Um Damian Priest isn't a bad name, but yeah, I agree. Yeah, it is. I, yeah, it is. It's a bad yeah, it is. Okay. It is. It's I wish very we still going by I wish we were still going by Punishment. Just because of that. Yeah. That's why I can't take. Time. I fucking hate the name. priest name. Like it's terrible. It's just like it. just like let's pick the let's pick the most generic like what if I was writing a terrible movie that'd be like a guy that would like ah uh, the, the the lead the lead guy in the movie Damien Priest <laughs> after <laughs> time to that's, stop that you know and that's the thing and maybe maybe um. It's a like little... a John Morrison movie character. Like, what was it? Johnny Speedkill or something terrible like that? It's the same thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Damien Priest and Johnny Speedkill. I got that movie somewhere. <laughs> it was in the Pro Wrestling Crate Box the one month. But the – um, what's it called? The uh, – well, oh, I just lost my train of thought. <laughs> we do that. I'm getting old. Derailed you. Derailed you. Uh, we were talking about – Damien, name Damien on, Priest. On the and so I was, I was fortunate enough to see a lot of Damien Priest and um, – Dominic Dijakovic matches on the Indies when they were doing a lot of Ring of Honor or House of Hardcore matches in Philly. So I got to see them as Punishment Martinez and Donovan Dijak and seeing how good they were and then coming on to NXT being given different names that sounded weird and their whole gimmick at the time being that like, I'm doing this for the Dajakovic blood, or I'm doing this for the, uh, yeah, the Dajakovic bloodline so that everyone remembers the name Dominic Dijakovic. Like you don't even have that name a month ago, and a lot of people know that it's. It, It'd it be just, cool if he still had that name, like we talked about earlier. Since they established that, I'm going to make you <laughs> remember this name, and now my name is, uh, yeah, T Bar. T Bar. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just, it's. I don't know why they have to go so hard to write a brand new gimmick when I, I just hate that. Yeah, but they don't. They don't. They don't yeah. go too hard. That's, That's the these... problem. They go the opposite direction. They it, just it, open a book and go. Yeah, that'll be. I think if they would pay attention to what they've written in the past instead of what it, like it yes. would help. Like I think it's like, what did we do last week? I don't fucking know. Who cares? Nobody else remembers. Just wing it. And I think that's the strategy they do with most. Of it. It's like me. It's like if you had me writing, it'd be really fucking like what was happening. It's like, what'd you guys write about three weeks ago? I don't know. You tell me, man. I don't. I didn't take notes. I think that's how the writing staff is. It seems like it's just, it's all fucking. But it doesn't help that that they write a show and then it's changed ten minutes before they go live. Right. Yeah, they turn it in and it's like, all right, that's make the these problem. changes, and they're like, oh fuck, okay, how do we do that within an hour? And it just, yeah, I think it has a lot to do with it too. Is they plan a bunch of shit out that probably makes sense, and then they turn it in, and it's like, nope, change seventy five percent of it, and then you just gotta like fuck it. What does he want us to do? And then it's just do whatever he wants to do. What is he? What the old man want? All right, here we go. <laughs> fucking turn it in. So, yeah, we uh, so we have one match left, guys. It's the the main event of the evening, and I'm really, yeah. really excited for this match of the year candidate yep. right here. Yeah, yep, I yep, think yep. Uh, even if we all know how it's gonna go, I'm so excited for the match itself. Yeah. New champion Finn Balor against challenger Kyle O'Reilly. And I'm so, so, so excited. I love Kyle O'Reilly, dude. He's one of my favorites. And I was yeah. – Reffing it. Reffing yeah. it right there. Yeah. My boys. I've, I've been excited since, like, over a month ago when Undisputed Era was beaten down on Drake Maverick after Kyle O'Reilly had a singles match with him. And you saw Kyle O'Reilly like, dude, what are you guys doing? Like, stop. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. He's going to get a singles push. But I love even more the way it looks like it's going because as much as I loved I Kyle O'Reilly oh. and Bobby Fish on the indies as Red Dragon, people forget 
that Kyle O'Reilly was on the Indies with Adam Cole as Future Shock. Yeah. And yep. the yep. whole shock the system thing played into that. I didn't like when they brought Roderick Strong into Undisputed Era because I was like, I just love them as the three of them because of the, the story that they told. And I was like, oh, here's another indie darling. Let's move him in. But yeah. that yeah. being said, I love that Kyle O'Reilly, what looks like he's going to be his singles push, could also be a singles push while staying friends and tag team partners with Adam Cole yeah. and maybe bringing back Future Shock it, this, in, in uh, separation of Undisputed Era. Yeah. So we'll see. What do you guys uh, think? I got big Kyle O'Reilly bias. You can't really tell, but I'm trying to pull up his contact. I got, I've known him since the Indies, man. It's in there too. Like I, he did a lot of shows around here. I've known him for a long time, man. It was when him and Kazina and Davey Richards were running around doing shit. So that's how long ago it's been. So he used to come around and work the shows with Chase. So he's, I love that he's finally getting some time to shine on his own. I mean, he's great in the tag team. He's one of the best tag team wrestlers ever. But this will be fun to see his uh, singles push. But I don't see him winning. But it would be great if he did, right? No, no, no. Yeah. But. No chance. Yeah. But hold on. The important thing to register for me right here is that you have one of my favorite wrestlers numbers in your phone mm -hmm. this entire <laughs> damn time that yeah. we're doing a podcast revolving around interviewing people. You're talking about Buff Bagwell? I've got his number right here. <laughs> hold on. I'm not I'm not lying though. Wait, is Buff. he is he okay now? He was he was hurt like a couple of months ago, wasn't he? Yeah, uh, he got in a car wreck, right? Oh, no. no, really? Yeah, yeah, I haven't heard anything since. I don't know how he is. Oh, I, know, I hope I didn't. I was like, oh, I hope he was sober when it happened because he. I, saw I got some Buff Bagwell was... stories. I got some stories for one day whenever we'll be going to some Buff Bagwell stories. Yeah, let's do a Buff Bagwell episode. Okay. But... <laughs> we don't want him on the show though. We That'll do this do well. episode. That'll be the least watched episode ever. <laughs> Buff is going to tune in. He's going to be like, oh shit, I'll somebody's talking it. about me. He'll tune in. He's going to be like, I want to hear what they say. And he's going to be like super mad when he hears it. Like, damn it. He wants us to tell that story about me dropping that kid out of the ring that time at us autograph signing. That's literally what he said. Hey, man. Help me. I don't want to drop another kid. I was like, what the fuck did you just say? Like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> He's like, make sure these kids get down. I can't drop another kid, man. You know how it is. I'm like, I don't, what? No, I don't know how it <laughs> is. No. I'm like, I, this sounds important. No, man. I'll help. <laughs> like, I'll definitely help you. Like, what the fuck are we talking about? And then Chase is like, man, did you get talked into helping buff? God damn it, man. You done fucked up. And I was like, what? All my redneck buddies are out there. He's like, ah, you gotta let, you can't listen to him. I'm like, I'm not gonna let him drop a kid. He's like, oh, he does that. I'm like, he does that. He drops kids. <laughs> That's his gimmick. <laughs> we gotta put like a child mat underneath him. <laughs> yeah, there was no steps. So he's like, these kids need help getting out of the ring, man. They just fall. I'm like, what? You just throw kids out the ring? I'm like, no. All right, I guess I'll help you. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <Who do> you <laughs> like? <laughs> yeah. Has anyone seen the Kyle O'Reilly Finn? segment where they spoke Kyle yeah. was fantastic on that yeah Kyle was on point but he's ah oh, man he's so cringe every word that comes out of his mouth is so cringe who Kyle or, or Finn? Kyle yeah Kyle Kyle yeah Finn Finn I don't know Finn's never been great on the mic but um that that little interaction they had was good really good uh, uh, I watched the I'll, prime I'll, target afterwards as well I watched that just before we came on the pod um Kyle just seems like a good dude man he's worked hard He's yeah, he deserves put it. in the graph, he put it. in the years, like what, is it 15 years, I think, yeah. he's, he's been going? Yeah. Man. And it's yeah. funny, even uh, even what you said about him being cringe on the mic, I, I respectfully have to disagree with you because I, I actually only saw a part of that segment, so maybe live with a mic in his hand might be different. But one of the yeah. things that I love most about him in NXT recently has actually been in just how he comes across in all the film stuff, like the yeah. gimmick where they picked up Adam Cole for the celebration and they're in the big limo. I thought the, the hidden gem of that whole segment was Kyle O'Reilly popping his head out like, what's up, champ? Like, and just his <laughs> delivery. But again, when it's different when you're live and – you know, there's a lot of pressure on you as opposed to knowing that it's filmed. And even if you're doing it in one take, you know that you can always just cut it and do it again. So, uh, unfortunately, when you've got Adam Cole, the literally the best on the mic yeah. in that in, in yeah. that whole show. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. Uh, always, <laughs> I think you're always going to be overshadowed. So, I, I think you're right. Having having him and Cole works, but I really hope at some point they just go right, Kyle. It's, it's your it's your time. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, yeah. you, you even have Adam Cole on this week defending Kyle. And whether that's going to lead to something between them, I'm not entirely sure. But to just have still Adam there kind of still puts puts 
pushes Kyle down a little bit. I think he just needs his, his chance to run free. And it, from what we reported on Bodyslam.net, yeah. that seems to be where, where they're going with that. Yeah. Yeah, they're going, what, babyface push for both of them? Is that what yeah, we're Yeah, for both of them, yeah. 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 They're going to have yeah. a 50-50 faction, really, I think. And I love that. That might lead to something down the line at, like, the either NXT around Survivor Series or possibly at Survivor Series. Mm-hmm. You know, have like the biggest, a... the biggest question for this match is not who's going to win. We all know Finn's going to win. That's, that's pretty how... cut and shut, done. It's, yeah. He's, he's going to win. Um, he's winning and keeping the title until Karrion Cross comes back. Yeah. Which that's, is a long that's pretty time. Much, pretty much done. But it's I think for me, it's more, it? it's more how this match is going to end. Like, does yeah. Cole get involved? I know Kyle said that the Undisputed Era would have no no place in the match, but does does Cole get involved and does Cole cost him the match through jealousy? Or could he potentially, could Kyle potentially win and then there's a clash between Cole and Kyle? Again, Cole and Kyle? I think that would be better storyline, storytelling right there is if you have yeah. Kyle yeah. O'Reilly win and then it just sets up Adam Cole's just Best jealousy Kyle. and just... Ooh. Bitter hatred for the whole thing, but yeah. imagine a Kyle versus Cole match made yeah. in a takeover. Yeah, that would be a great program to Ooh. run while you're killing time, waiting on Karrion Cross to come back. I don't yeah. think Finn would have a yeah. problem putting over somebody like Kyler Riley and let, like having a short reign just to let that. No, I'm with it. Yeah. I uh, I don't know if this will be the way it will go, uh, but my the my hope is that the long term and the actual goal for this match is for them to establish Kyle O'Reilly as a serious singles competitor. And in that sense, my hope is that there is no involvement or any, any story that they tell happens after the match, after what they just focus on being like a Matt classic, letting them just tell a really good story in the ring with a clean finish where Finn puts him over clean so that down the line, it tells the story that, okay, now Kyle's got to come back and, and, you know, get, get his one over. Um, I don't want to see any of that get lost in the, the muck of trying to tell a story that may or may not develop in a few weeks or just get lost in the shuffle in and of itself. So yeah. I could definitely see anything along those lines happening, but my hope is that, that it just ends with a clean finish. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Fingers How about you, Cass? It's just where I give my prediction of what I think is going to happen. Right. Uh, I think we get – I don't think – I hope we get a clean finish, but I don't think we do. I think we'll get some kind of uh, – like the, he says, Undisputed Era is not going to get involved, but then they come out against his wanting to, and then maybe something happens there. But – Ah, fuck it. Everybody went Finn. Is that what everybody did here? All yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's it. I'm going Kyle O'Reilly. Fuck there it. Let's go. do it. Let's there do we it. Go. <laughs> well, it, it might even be a case that it's Roderick Strong and Fish who come out, and then Adam yeah. Cole comes out to try to stop to them. To stop and then them. That's what leads to Kyle yep. losing. So that's the way you could go, and that's what that the could. Break. Yeah. You know That'd I mean? be good too. Yeah. I mean, I, I definitely can. I'm interested. That's only that's one of the only matches I really, 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 really want to see. Just because, like, I've yeah. I've watched Kyle O'Reilly, like I said, since he was first starting out, pretty much like three, four years in, when he was running around with all those with David Richards and Kazina. So I I really want to see a thirty minute match for these guys, and I would love for him to go over. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put it. You, I'm gonna go against the grain. You guys went all Finn. I'm gonna go Kyle. Just that way, I've got a little bit something different on the board. I like it. Yeah. And I'll be honest. And as much as I like Finn Balor. My heart pangs to not pick my boy Kyle O'Reilly. Finn Balor, yeah, I got my Finn Balor yeah. poster yeah. right there. But look, when you're holding yeah. the eighty-seven thousand dollar title, <laughs> you got to think about you got you can't think with your heart. You got to think with your head. <laughs> Dom, you're gonna show us something. We, we you always pull it. We're gonna pull an item out every week, right? What are you gonna show us today? I What's showed today? you my very first uh, TJ Duck kit card. Nah, that was off off the camera. That's for later. Oh. But this is the very oh, it's upside down. I'm sorry. I was like, what the my fuck? My very are you first wrestling there? event that my uh, my pop took my brother and I to. I can't I read was, it. I see. Yeah, adult. it's very faded. That's all I see is adult. <laughs> yeah, even zoomed in. I don't know what this is. It like, says written about. It says World Wrestling Federation, Friday, July 9th, nineteen ninety nine. Um, and then oh, here this one behind it. I went to later that summer. My second show. You can see that a little better at the first. What's now the first. Well, what's now the uh, Wells Fargo Center was the first Union Center, uh, World Wrestling Federation, August of that year. So that was in the height of um, the corporate ministry and and all of that going on, which is exciting because I watch like I don't know if I told you guys this, but I, I go back and I watch in chronological order like the Attitude Era. 
So I'll watch like the heat and then the roll and then the heat and then pay-per-view and then the roll. Uh, so I know that's right where I'm at right now is that, oh. that summer where yeah. I was, you know, first getting into it. So it's fun. But Cass, what do you got? I've got, I'm just going to bring this is uh, my ticket from AEW on new year's uh, show this year in Jacksonville, but I went to the after party afterwards with everybody. So we've got somewhere on here is Tony Khan's signature. We've, as you can see, Angelico, uh, got Daniels and Sky right there. I think it's that Kaz. And there's like, I don't know, everybody, Wardlow, Leva, uh, Jungle Boy, Joey Janela's on here, uh, Kaz, all of SCU. Did you uh, feel yeah, weird asking for their Evans. Did you it feel wasn't weird me. asking for their autographs? It wasn't me. That's the thing. Is like, cause I, I, was took, say. I took the girl I was dating at the time whose name was also Cassidy, which is – right. <laughs> It was confusing, but she spelled it <laughs> fucked up because they. You know, How is that confusing? It. It's like the lack of confusion. It's one name F- fits all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was real hard when somebody's like, "Hey, Cass," and we're both like, "What?" And it's like, uh, "Okay, Damn it. you know." What I mean? But gotcha. uh, yeah, so I took her, and she had never watched a wrestling event on TV or in person ever in her fucking life. So she went and watched that and just had a fucking blast. So then during the after party, she was like, "Do you think people would sign it?" And I was like, "I got you." And I was like, "Hey." come here and sign her fucking ticket. And then uh, she had a friend with her and then that dumb bitch left her ticket in the car or in my car when I, when I dropped her off. So I'm like, <laughs> mine, boop. So I snagged that shit. So I didn't get anything right. signed, but the dumb bitch that uh, we fucking dropped off, like she left the shit in my car. So I definitely snagged it. But Well, good for you that you were able to uh, get that memento without having to grub out for it. Even yeah. if it came at the, the, it was it was really weird when I was trying to introduce introduced her to Tony because I because we we're sitting in the room it was funny and I'm just like looking around and dude we're we're so out of place you know what I mean like everybody in that room is worth a fucking fortune and then it's just like us just hanging out against the wall like drinking I drink a liquor out of the bottle with fucking Kazarian by the way so it's like I'm, we're totally just like the sore thumb just sticking out over there. And I was like, hey, you should Google that guy. And I pointed at Tony Khan. And she was like, why? And I'm like, just Googled his name. So she looks and it pops up. First thing is like his net worth. And it's like $6.8 billion. And she's like, what the fuck? And I'm like, yeah, you want to go meet him? <laughs> why is he in gym like, shorts? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, let's go meet him. And she's like, what do you mean? I was like, I talked to him. I just interviewed him like 30 minutes ago, like the other day. Like, so let's just go. I, I just see, I see him every month. I probably interviewed him four or five times probably at that point. So I walked up and he's like, oh. I can't remember your name. It's something weird. I'm like, yeah, it's you. This might help you remember it. And I introduced her. I was like, her name's Cassidy. And my name's also Cassidy. And he was like, what the fuck? That's weird. Orange Cassidy was standing right behind him. He turns around like the fuck is going on. Like three Cassidy's within <laughs> five foot radius of each other. And so we were like, he was like, yeah, I don't think I can forget this now. And I was like, yeah, I'm surprised Adams and the world has just shattered and fissured <laughs> apart that three Cassidy's within like fucking a foot of each other. But yeah. So she was just blown away by that. Like, but yeah, he asked her so many questions too. He's like, I want to talk to you because he knew that was her first ever show. So he just like pulled her aside. was like, tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what was your favorite? What was this? She really liked Nyla Rose. She was huge on Nyla Rose, which I thought was interesting. She loved that shit. So that's, that's I love what they're doing with Nyla Rose now, especially with her and Vicky Guerrero. Did you see what they did this week? What do you think? Does that mean uh, Kylan King has a contract maybe? You're about to get know. signed because they had Nyla attack her specifically and just take yeah, her out. Did, yeah. And I don't they don't know do if anything. Was... They don't do anything without fucking intent. Everything yeah. they do, it, unlike WWE, which is just like fuck it, do something. And it doesn't <laughs> make any sense. Like everything they do means something. Like everything that company does means something. Because I've listened to him fucking plan that shit out for a year one night when I was sitting there at the after party, and he was like, "You can't say a fucking word." which I will be fix that in post. So but <laughs> no, I, <yeah. laughs> no, we're not. I don't know how to fix video in post. I can only joke. fix that, right? audio. Yeah, That's why that, I right? just <laughs> muted your ass when you went off on illegal activity. <laughs> I didn't. You did. You oh, got me it. out, you fucker. I covered it well. Then you were like, oh, let me tell you about my family history. <laughs> it wasn't my family history. It was my ex fiance's family history. So anyway, he was wrong. Oh. You know, oh, but no, uh, yes. What was that? Oh, yeah, they don't do anything without it meaning something. So I think her jumping the fucking guardrail and specifically attacking Kylan King was, uh, I don't know, man. She's obviously been featured really heavily. So maybe she's getting a, a stronger look now and maybe she'll get signed if she wasn't already. Shit. I, I very rarely enjoy when they have like those just brawl sequences where it just breaks down and everybody yeah, just free comes for all then a pull apart. Yeah. But I love that one on Dynamite because 
And I love the way that Nyla Rose was portrayed in that because it looked like it was starting to break down and she just jumps the barricade like, all right, let's go. It's nope, time then, to fight someone. She fucked, every, she fucked that up. And then so, so Tay Conti came out also and went after Anna. Did you see that too? So they had yeah. like everything they did in that right. meant something. So that's why I was like, that can't be just – well, that's leading – I think they were pulling each other back because that's going to lead to something with Brandy and uh, Anna Jay, not necessarily yeah. – Well, with I mean, they were – because that was what the pull-apart was about. It was Anna and, Bra- Anna right. and Brandy, and then Tay Conti came out to uh, hold uh, Anna Jay back because the Dark Order shit they're doing with her where they tried to offer the contract. So, I mean, that makes sense. So, that's why I was saying. Everything in that scrum and that little, like, pull-apart that they did was planned out for a reason. So, there was, like, five storylines they were advancing right there. And what do you guys think, think about that? I feel like we're taking up all the airtime right now. No, no, um, when WWE do it, it, it feels like it's just to get some guys some screen time that you forgot about. You know, right. like, oh, by the way, oh, here's the Viking Raiders. Oh, by the way, here's the street. Well, that's, Raiders. What that's, that's what that's for. I mean, that's why you do that. But, like, at least this way they do it to where it means something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they were doing the yeah. same thing. Like, we need to put everybody on the screen. But, like, they're fucking – like you said, WWE, they do it. and it doesn't, counts for something. It, it doesn't mean anything. But this, like I said, yeah. it counts for something. They're doing everything with intent. So I think everything we saw in that, that, that I thought it was a great little segment too, where just a, a brawl breakout and just everybody got involved. It was great. It was really fun, but it means something. So I like to see what happens with Nyla. Like I do like where they're going with her and Vicky, even though that's a weird pairing for me, man, it's really, really weird, but mm. it works. Cause Nyla's not, I mean, she's okay on the mic. I don't think she's great. What do you think? I'm pointing to my eight by 10 of Vicky. I see that. <laughs> I when I realized that we were doing this, I had all of these things in just like a single box somewhere, and I couldn't find it. And I knew for a fact that I had Vicky Guerrero. And I was like, "Oh, that'd be cool to put up." I don't have enough women up there. I want to, you know, make it evenly, evenly distributed. And I'm going through, and I forgot just how many I had hidden. I found Adam Cole, Kevin Owens, Animal, the recently deceased Animal, freaking Harley Race. I had a Harley Race autograph just sitting back there. I didn't even know it. So. Cool. Let's see what but, I got. I got, got the Young Bucks. All right, we gotta stop doing this. This is this is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible for podcasts. We're just showing our bro, memorabilia. Bro, We're wasting got, too much time. Got, head. Hey, you wait. Did, we talked about head. This, we talked about this guy. Uh, where'd I put him? Oh, damn. Hey, All we talked about this. That's relevant to the European title. Is not out right now. See you, bro. I, mean, I, yeah. I I have a fairly relevant question. Um, how does everybody feel about what's going on with? Ray, Ray Mysterio, and Seth and Dom and Aaliyah at the minute is it is it not nearly as good as what happened 15 years ago or is it's you guys be, enjoying when, it? when Eddie comes out to be Aaliyah's dad? It's going to be great. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Just waiting for that now. Waiting yeah. for that. Just no, just end it. It's a travesty of a storyline. It's been going on for so long. Like no, I, as, as soon as you start with the eye match, that's it. I'm out. You, I'm done. I'm finished at that point. And then I've Alistair Black take it off and he's got a bloody black no, Iris. No, no. I'm done. My, uh, I, think my I wish my that, I wish Seth Rollins had, had a necklace with eyeballs hanging off. Like I took their eye. Yeah, like the predator. Like <laughs> fucking like a, Yeah, that's that's how I needed to be. Just uh, just have eyes just hanging off his fucking neck. A little Kamala. <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah. Exactly. Send me the new Kamala. <laughs> gotcha, bro. But uh no, Shorty had a good uh a good prediction on this where it was the kind of thing where she thought maybe oh my god now i can't remember what it was i think it was something along the lines of like buddy and Aaliyah are actually siblings and no, somehow yeah. and it's like yeah i don't know no i think that's I'm making a that dark up. that's a dark angle <laughs> yeah she I had put such a better so everyone's like hey you know how you guys begged? turns out your brother and sister and then yeah. there's now the, the what happens all the laces, every single no, yeah, yeah. No, i'm screwing it up i gotta whoa, I gotta the laces. whoa. <laughs> i'm gonna have to come on for the review show and get this right because she had a very good angle and i can't remember what it is now and if i try to remember i'm just not yeah hopefully justice. it's not an incest angle because that's it wasn't ever a it good wasn't angle. Nah, and Hornswoggle, Hornswoggle's in there. Oh, uh, what was what was the last incest <laughs> angle we had? Um, uh, the, it's the been pirate a while. dude, the pirate guy, and uh, oh, Birchall? Paul, Katie Birchall. Yeah, yeah. They cancelled that, didn't they? Before, I before did it happened. about that. Paul Birchall. Yeah, I think they cancelled before Katie it happened. Katie Birchall, yeah. I was so mad about that because I was excited for the pirate gimmick because I I just I, I like pirates. 
I like pirates. First, you were gonna say I, I was excited for the incest to see where it was gonna go. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're like, you know, I was upset when they stopped it. I was excited to see where it was gonna go. I was like, what? Whoa! <laughs> Maybe Yum. he did think he Dom did think this is a good idea, and he's trying to fucking no sell it. He's like, ah, it's a great idea. And went, Whoa. He's like, I mean, it was a terrible idea. <laughs> look at look at my Google history. <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with. It. Dude, we were down there talking about Pornhub the other day. He's like, it's all, I fucked my sister and I hate it. And I was like, obviously, I don't believe you now at all. <laughs> like, at all. I don't believe you at all now. Why would we even, I feel like we got on that topic because we were joking around about like putting our episodes up on We were Pornhub. talking about putting our episode up on Pornhub, yeah. Like, oh, we got to be up on every platform. What's, yeah, on every people platform. people listen to their stuff on? <laughs> yeah but, i made that mistake and be like oh what's this gonna be how is this involved in pornhub and you're like that's the fucking clip from monday night raw like what the hell all right and this was the last time that chris and Faz ever appeared on the podcast. yeah yeah this show took a turn <laughs> incest and porn at the end to close it out this is a fucking good episode body slave troubles because chris and Faz who do all the work we're just we like ran them off this sucks. Like, yeah, we man. just start our own website now that i met those guys holy bye, bye, shit bye. Hell, guys Here's my resignation. Uh, I'm staying. I'm staying. I love Chris. I'm <laughs> definitely staying. You had right, me in that document. <laughs> yeah. Chris ain't saying a word. He's just pouring more liquor. <laughs> yep. I'm gonna Dude, go I, was I was drinking during the Chazza interview. I was over there drinking. I was like, I wonder if you guys going to ask what I'm drinking. It was all like, I had a huge whiskey and Coke. It was like fucking tall. What, what is your drink of choice, Chris? At the moment. Oh, okay. Oh. No, absolutely. Oh. Okay. Uh, Keep normally it whiskey. simple, stupid. Normally whiskey. Great advice. Normally whiskey. <laughs> Honestly, I was like super. Uh, Faz, Faz knows. I think Dom. I think I told you cast as well. I was super anxious coming on here today. Like my first ever. Yeah, dude, you video, were talking about nervous. Podcast, you were. man. I barely slept last night, and that's not even because I've got an eight-week-old baby. Like I could not sleep. I was like, shit. What if I don't know what to say? What if I forget everything I've ever learned about wrestling? Like who's Johnny Gargano? I, I, I was so nervous. <laughs> well, that's how I feel so every nervous. time, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's on the show? But see, <laughs> but see, here's Cass. Here's the difference. That's how you feel every time. Next time Chris comes on, he's gonna be like, <laughs> "I'm gonna be like, right, oh, dude, yeah, you've done it once. Let's go. Dude. Roll out of bed. <laughs> if you roll out of bed and comb your hair, you're already doing better than both of us." Yeah, dude. <laughs> I was like, Don did tell me what time to even wake up today, and I was awake until six a.m. So I'm like, oh, "K Fame, K Fame, bro." <laughs> I mean, I was you're awake until not awake six till like six a.m. I don't dude, understand. I don't either, and I don't mean to. I don't mean to at all. Like, I, we're I'm literally on opposite me. schedules. Do you know how many news articles like, you could write, Cass? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Messages me at six. Wait, wait, I just did the whole like Vince Vaughn. <laughs> the thing froze. <laughs> it froze. We I can't talk. Uh, were you the US person? <laughs> <laughs> he just leaves. That was a hold on. I'm, just gonna, I'm out. That, that's it. I'm done. He sends well, me like, a DM. Sends me a DM at Damn seven AM. Like, right, I'm gonna go sleep for like half an hour. I'm gonna sleep for an hour, and then I'll be back. Like, I gotta take my mom to work at like nine because she's like, I'm, she's like, I need you to come get me today. I don't have my car, and I'm like, fuck, it's. Damn it, it's seven. I gotta wake that up is, in like hours. No, stop <laughs> it. That is not how your mom sounds. Your mom you is not know. sound that annoying. You don't know. Don't you, don't you dare say such terrible things about he your mother. He was just like calling that. me, and I was like, I'm trying to do something here, Mom. <laughs> you tell that wonderful woman I said hello. And oh, I was, I, dude, I made the mistake of telling her. I made the mistake of telling her you want to interview her. Oh, my God. Ooh, Guys, we yeah. had an idea where oh, we were going to do, we were gonna do an episode where uh, we interview each other's moms. <laughs> oh, That's God awesome. damn it. Okay. Do yeah, that. Moms are big right now. And I can't <laughs> oh, tell my them. God. That's how we tell, started no, talking about Pornhub. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, laugh. that's exactly like, how. Oh, no, it, it is. Push. It really I said, is. Because I, exactly. I said we should. I said we should call how it. it led to we it. could call it the episode. We could call it Mom Swap. And he was like, "Dude, Mom it's Swap." Like, oh, no, no. And I was no. like, "Oh God, you're right. It does oh, sound like yeah. well, never mind." He's like, "We might as well put it up on Pornhub anyway." This is how that started. It wasn't incest. It was swapping mothers, which is I don't know. Is that better? Uh, no, but, but, yeah. but guys, I, I swear, <laughs> it started in the most innocent of ways. It was literally us. That was the idea we had. Come on, interview each other's moms. What's a good name for it mom swap oh wait no never mind that sounds bad <laughs> i was like i don't think that's a good name at all people so are gonna be real even, confused with what's going on this one. Them. let's not even interview them just put all four of them on and just leave them just let them talk <laughs> to each other and just like we'll step podcast. out and that's just like, talk for an hour like how does this work is this on <laughs> hello i actually like that too we could be like a zoom like tea and crumpets <laughs> What the fuck? No, dude. Don't even do that. My mom doesn't know what crumpets are. My mom's you know what? Maybe South. we won't invite you. Maybe we'll okay. have Mrs. Haynes come on and my She's mother no, come man. on and me. My mom's no and we'll have a great bro. time. 
My mom's no Sue. I told you that. All right, we're going to wrap this up, guys. <laughs> We've been taking up too much. Poor, <laughs> poor Dees has his daughter that he has to get to, and we're just keeping him here while we talk about nonsensical. The Freebirds just won. I don't even know. Guys, the Freebirds just won. I don't even know. Best, best of luck to you all as we Thank all you. compete and vie for this $247,000 title. <laughs> uh, the rules as they stand are that the champion – makes the rules as we go and the champion the the rock says that as we go right now we will recognize whoever wins today or whoever wins this weekend as the overall champion but when you lose the title you got to ship it out to whoever the new champ is so to save everybody a whole lot of money if you win we recognize it but i retain possession of it that's you got to win twice. That's fine. To have yeah, me yeah, yeah, I was going to say, I listened to the last one. You did say it was a two. You had to. Okay. And then I twice. was like, then I, I don't know if we talked about this after, off air or not. But I was yeah, like, no, hey. we talked about it off air. So you're not going to mention it. So if, <laughs> you, if you. If what we're you, really going to do. If yeah. you. Shut up, yes. I'm going to mute him. <laughs> so if. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, he's really mad. All right. I'm going to unmute him. <laughs> But uh, if you win it and you get and you win twice, you get the title. Acting. You that was lose. just acting. Did I do good? Did I sell you it? Did. Yeah. You, yeah. you got to lose. I have twice. a film and video production degree, so I'm going to pretend like I can act. So <laughs> if you lose once you retain the title, you got to lose twice to then have to ship it back to the states. Uh, okay. So yeah. I got that it. That way, I it. everybody uh, everybody gets a, a fair crack and not having to spend like 150 dollars in. But <laughs> she has a she has a wants to take this title from us. So she said. So I think we're gonna try to get her on too. Hopefully. Into, yeah, it was yeah, short notice for this national week. affair. But she'll be it, this. This is gonna touch down on. You guys ever watch The Wire? This is gonna be like that uh, season yeah. two. Yeah. The uh, the van touching down <laughs> all over the place. That's what this title's gonna mm-hmm. do. Yeah, the port season. It's just like that. Yep. Yeah. So, but guys, thank you so much for coming on on what I hope will still be the first of many times. I'm sure we'll be yes. more organized. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. This should be a good, it should Absolutely. be a regular thing, I think, as well. Yeah, Helena Sal, Helena Sal is like three weeks away, so let's do it again. True. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you don't have fast, to wait that long Chris, if you don't want to. Do you guys have any, any final words or, or thoughts for the episode? No, said just uh, today. it's been awesome. It's been awesome. You know, I'm a huge fan of you guys anyway. You know, I wrote the review. Uh, yeah. I wrote the review. Yeah. This and, is actually uh, the Mutual Appreciation Society, <laughs> yeah. to be honest with you. So, so. Um, obviously, Chris pulling me in from the beginning. It's been great. So, uh, I'm just, a, I, I love being on here. So, cheers, guys. Much appreciated. Everybody, yeah, man, everybody, follow, um, everybody follow fishermansuplex.net. <laughs> Did you see? I had to ask. I was like, were you guys, I was like, were you guys talking shit yesterday? He's like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm like, all right, man, fine. If we're good, then we're good. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just making sure, man. Like, I was like, what is that all about? He was like, I don't think I ever talk shit about you guys. What are you talking about? I was like, all right, man, good. Just making sure. You guys got to keep me in the loop as to. And then I love Jeremy coming in for my buddy from Fightful out of left. It was like, I got beef with you, Haynes. And he was just like, <laughs> <laughs> and then our buddy Juan that does those blogs with us too chimed in on that, jumped in on there too. It was like, I'm going to fucking call out Sap. And he like jumped on there as well. <laughs> so that was fun. And this I- is why I get so much heat. This is why I get all the heat because I just like attack just. Anyone who well, you did get me yeah. all worked up yesterday. You don't know, it's a joke. I was like, I was like, man, fuck this, I'm mad. I was like, I got mad yesterday. And then he was like, I'm not mad at you guys. I'm like, well, then I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about, so I'm sorry. <laughs> That's why <laughs> that I'm, wasn't my I'm, fault. That wasn't my fault. That was um, Ch- Chatterson. That was his fault. No, nothing is ever Chat's fault. I love Chat. That's Scott. Uh, but no what's it called the uh i'm constantly texting Cass because i'm so clueless i'm in my like bubble here in philly that like, i we constantly that texting guy? him like yo is this real or kayfabe like should i unfollow this dude or is <laughs> and i'm like, like no, no dude, don't worry friends, about it. dude relax <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it we're good we're good <laughs> but all right guys look let's wrap it up so i can get this posted but thank you again so much for coming on and uh let's let's take you out with our award-winning outro with, uh, oh, I'm excited for this. Go on, go on. Podcast! 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 Podcast!